I know everybody these days tends to wear a wristwatch and carry a mobile phone that has a clock on it, but it's amazing. When it's wrong by a minute or so, it's amazing how many phone calls we get and people telling us that it's wrong. And I think that a lot of people do rely on this for accurate time. You could be forgiven for thinking that time's standing still at the moment, no matter when you look up at the town hall. It looks like it's just after 12 o'clock so that work inside can be completed. The clock is, generally speaking, a very accurate timepiece. It's accurate to within a couple of seconds of week. And we noticed uh, recently that the clock was actually starting to lose time. We've traced it down to a drive shaft, um, which is the main drive shaft that connects the mechanism to the hands and um, unfortunately the bearings are worn so we need to remove the drive shaft so that new bearings can be made. It's a difficult job mainly because of the weights and sizes of things involved. It's not much different really in theory from doing a, 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 a church clock or something like that but because you're looking at something which drives four 16 foot diameter dials fundamentally there's going to be a, a problem with um, actually lifting and moving and, and pull, pulling things out but we're used to doing it and it'll just take a little bit longer. There's a few clocks which are like this in the country. This is one of the best, it's one of the most accurate and uh, a, a superb thing to work on. I consider myself and, and the lads who work with us uh, very fortunate to be in such a position. Well, the piece of the mechanism that needs repairing here is not done badly, really. It's not needed any major repairs since 1882. But unlike a clock at home that's not keeping time properly, it's not just a case of putting in a new battery. And that's why the hands have had to be very carefully wound on to 12 o'clock, which is where they'll stay until the work's finished. A lot of people assume that it's a, a big electric motor that's driving it. Nobody realises that it's still the old clockwork. And unfortunately, for a clock of this age, you can't just pop to B&Q and buy some replacement parts. What it does give the clock is reliability, and everybody wants reliability, especially when the dials are so big and it's such a prominent clock. So, uh, apart from the unforeseen circumstances, hopefully after the work we've completed uh, this weekend, the clock will once again tick away without any problems whatsoever. James Webster, Channel M News.